Welcome to the Echoes of Enlightenment podcast. We'll be talking about spiritual awakenings, life lessons, and overall self development. Today, on this episode, we'll be talking about our spiritual teams, aka our guardian angels. Our guardian angels have been with us since we were born. It's never really talked about until something supernatural happens or a near-death experience. And that's usually when they've made their self the most present. But chances are you still don't realize that That was them that saved you from that experience. But the truth is, your guardian angels are with you all day, every day. That's their, that's their one job that they have. Their one mission is to stick by your side. But it, that's not taught anywhere, really. It's mentioned, but... There's really not a bunch of, you know, depth behind it to help you understand. Your guardian angels are always giving you subtle tips on what to do throughout your life. Some of the hunches you get, some of the, like your intuition, the gut feelings that you have. That's your spiritual. I mean, that's your guardian angels. They always have your best interest. <clears throat> you got to realize that they're your biggest fans. You're the only one that they protect, guard, and lead to your purpose. But if you don't realize that they're there to serve you and help you, you acknowledge a lot of their attempts to guide you the right way. But after you have your awakening, you tap in to the spiritual world a little more than you have been. You're not only looking through validation from the outside, but you're getting validation from the inside. The ways that your guardian, your guardian angels uh, indicate that they're there is through the synchronicities that I was talking about in the past episode. Whenever there's a synchronicity, actually stop and think like why is this happening like what could this mean how is this connected to something else it doesn't take all your time but it does take a little more time than just writing off the situation as oh that was weird and then moving on your guardian angels will always tap you on the shoulder showing you Signs one way or another all the time. All the time. We just don't notice most of the time. But once you tap in and realize what's going on, you won't ever feel alone. You won't ever feel alone. You will always feel like there's somebody that has your back. And that's the truth. That's exactly how it is.
but you also have to walk a pretty straight line. You have to do the best you could possibly do and actually try to find your purpose, try to live righteously. That's how they tap in. That's the best way they can actually send you synchronicities and different messages different ways is when you're on the right track. If you're on the wrong track, they're not going to help you to do the wrong thing. They're here for your best interest. And that's why you go through the isolation point when you're by yourself. There's no distractions. That's when you can start connecting with your spiritual team a lot closer than you have before because there's nothing clouding your mind or clouding your judgment or distracting you from receiving messages. And once you realize that they're here to help and that they're always with you, even that you don't see them, you will feel like you kind of have like a cheat code. But it's not a free cheat code. Like I said, you have to be living righteously and you have to be heading towards your purpose. And another thing is you're able to ask your your, uh, spiritual team for advice in different situations. Just ask. And I guarantee something will show up to give you that direction you were looking for. It always happens. And the thing is, don't just wait around for the answer. Just continue living life. It could show up five, in five minutes. It could show up in an hour. It could show up the next day. But the bottom line is you are going to get that advice that you are looking for. And it was from your spiritual team who's your biggest fan. So their guidance is pure straight from love. A lot of the times we look from look for advice from our friends and family and different people who says they have our best interest for us. But I know my guardian angels do. So if you're able to rely on yourself and your guardian angels more than relying on friends, family, and acquaintances, you would definitely go a lot farther in life. And you will also stick to the path that you're divinely guided on to be able to find your purpose and fulfill your purpose. So I'm going to end this message here. Until next time.